we're going to get into the trans uh, discussion, Robert. And I, I, it wasn't on the menu, but I, I maybe I want to ask now the, the laws that are coming out of Florida about banning the uh, medical treatment for transgender. I thought it was for minors because people are saying, you no, know, Florida is now, you know, uh, was it the ACL or one of those stupid organizations that has ruined themselves said Florida travel advisory. I think it was the NAACP. Maybe I forget. Don't go to, don't go to Florida people. Cause it's not safe unless you're a cis white male. Um, but do you know the laws in Florida? I mean, my understanding, and I've, I've, I think I've read enough to understand this, is that they're banning any form of, of what they call gender affirming care. I, I won't give it the name that I think it is, but I think it's a form of mutilation. They're banning it for children and requiring, from what everyone has been clarifying now, requiring it for adults that they actually get the recommendations, the prescriptions, the the, the assessment from an actual MD and not from nurses or, or, or you know, non-MDs. Mm -hmm. Is, is it is that accurate? Like they're just banning it for kids and making adults get proper prescriptions for these medications so they don't order them off, off, off the Internet? Yeah. And I'm just not a big fan of any of this. Um, I'm not. A, I, I oppose uh, trans treatments uh, as a good eye in terms of as a medical idea for children. That doesn't mean I think we should run around banning it everywhere uh, because that's at some level starts to interfere, in my view, with your right to bodily autonomy and you to decide your own medicine. So the uh, uh, I don't want the state to have that power, even if it's the most righteous of causes. Well, but uh, even if it's that, even if it's for I see, I guess the distinction is only whether or not one it's can the agree state that. defining what's good and bad medicine. And I just for, I've for never liked mind. that. So you say that and it's not an unreasonable statement. But then, Robert, I mean, I mean none of us like it because we're like, look at all the negative consequences these people have. Here's the solution. Just create a civil cause of action that that establishes that the state sees this as likely medical malpractice and someone can sue for damages. Do that. But don't strip people of their rights to make their own medical decisions. Well, Robert, not not for the, that. The immediate pushback, though, it also interferes with parental child relationships. I get why they're saying it, but it's. It's it's a different version of Hillary Clinton's. It takes a village, and I get my conservative friends. I, as I've studied this, I mean, in Tennessee, a Trump judge struck down the Tennessee law as unconstitutional for some of the reasons we talked about that it could be void for vagueness at the time. They had some bad definitions in the statute. That was his focus point. But the more I started looking at this, the more I started doubting it. And I was like, the um, it, it's the state saying we know what's best for your kid. I, as a general rule, I don't like that. Even if I disagree with the way of parents raising a child, um, you know, you could argue that with Texas, that Texas says it's a form of child abuse based on the medical and physical consequences. And abuse has always been an exception to parental custody and parental mm -hmm. rights. On those grounds, I could accept it. But when you're extending it to parent, you know, adults can't get it without us having a state licensed doctor saying it you're back in the prescription business. Like I've never just been a big fan of the state running people's medicine. It tends to always backfire. Uh, but they say the obvious pushback would be uh, female genital mutilation in, in, in minors or even in adults for that matter. But like someone's going to say, well, and your argument, in Robert. parts of the world as a part of cultural and religious tradition. As, as and the, do many. And I don't like it. it. It's, it gets to the point of at what level is it our prerogative or more importantly, I think it, we have our moral prerogative to say it's wrong. The question is, at what level is it the state's prerogative to start controlling it? Because once they do, you know, you know where that goes. It, it's who decides, who has the power. And I'm never comfortable with the state having that power as a general well, principle. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, it, I, it's an interesting perspective. And then I would say, like, you acknowledge, you say, OK, well, abuse, we can abuse, we can, you know, agree on there you're I, protecting the child you're protecting another human human interest yeah, but, but when so, so, you're protecting to the child to the degree like protecting the child from severe physical harm from being able to survive that's and we'll get into that a little bit later mm -hmm. about child parent parental rights one thing but people can just imagine at what level does it stop right once the state says we know what's best for your child because isn't it some level that's what everybody's saying they're saying it in a conservative cause but they're saying the state knows better than the parent for their child. 
Well, where does that end? And are, do we yeah, like that I, idea? I could, I could, I, I could draft a legislation that says it ends at the permanent, irreparable mutilation or alteration of the body that's for purely fair. cosmetic that's purposes. Correct. Yeah, they, but that's where then getting into adults. Why are we right telling adults what they can and can't do with their bodies? That's, well, that's that's a question. I mean, especially if they say like, I, I want homeopathic stuff. I'm an adult. Don't tell me what to do. Right. But then they say, go to a doctor. If it's if it's fine, a doctor should have no problem. And you're just creating an extra step. Yeah. I definitely that, don't like empowering doctors. I'm against that altogether. We should have learned that from the pandemic. Do not license these, do not empower these licensed, uh, monopolistically licensed people any more than they already are. And just that so I, definitely backfire. That's interesting. And then you just say, okay, well, allow adults to do what they want and just allow them to sue for, you know, if if the if yeah. they didn't get proper directions on the right. HR. And, and you can make a state statement that you think it's medical malpractice. I don't have a problem with that. That that you know the uh, but what, what does that do? That empowers the individual rather and empowers the jury, not the state using its licensed monopoly professional class people to be the gatekeepers for what you can and can't do with your own body. Now, what was the trans suit? That wasn't, uh, that, that wasn't. The yeah, one see, it's a... an interesting claim. It, we're going to see more of these. The question fundamentally is this under title seven, under the 14th amendment, equal protection clause, when it says you can't discriminate on the basis of sex, is that a reference to biology or gender identity? I see it as biology. Now, there's some exceptions. Gorsuch wrote an opinion that became controversial, but I think he was right because of how it was actually written in that particular statute as to that particular application. That's different than saying the 14th Amendment on the basis of sex means, uh, means gender identity. Uh, no, it doesn't. It means biology, in my view. And But they're saying, but if you determine that sex in the Constitution means not biology, but gender identity, then they're saying now they have all the same protections as a man or woman would have against state action if it disparately discriminates against them. Though I would know Tennessee's particular, what is it? Tennessee's health care doesn't want any, any tax payer mon money going to uh, anything, what they consider sexual related medical treatment what and to give an example penile implants they won't fund that either so that's where it's not clear that this is really on the basis of sex it's their this the, the, there's been a decision made by the healthcare folks that trans treatments is really a sexual treatment rather than a biological gender treatment um and the challenge is no this is really biological gender rather than sexuality and so they're suing under the 14th Amendment, claiming they should that the exclusion for their care under the Tennessee health care provisions uh, violates their constitutional and statutory rights under federal civil rights laws. What um, if you know offhand what uh, amendments of the Constitution pertain to or relate to sex? Uh, oh, 14th you know, Amendment equal protection clause. OK. And so the question now, at the time that that was drafted, what year was the 14th Amendment? I mean, this is all within the 17th Civil War. Okay. Oh, post Civil War. 1865, 1863 to 1868. And the rationale behind the amendment was to prevent discrimination against women. Uh, well, really against people based on race was the target, but it was interpreted as applying also to, to gender. To sex. <laughs> well, that's going to be the, to sex or gender. Okay. All right. Well, that's, um, uh, okay. Yeah, it's, actually, it's a Chattanooga plaintiff. Chattanooga and a Knoxville plaintiff suing in Nashville. Of course they sued in Nashville. They didn't want to run the risk of a Chattanooga jury. Uh, okay, well, that's um, going to be the question. Mean, I mean, so, and, and I'm just thinking, that, well, I guess it gets into Title IX, but that, that might be much later on as to well, what is meant it, by it, it. It's all the, that ultimately resolution of that issue will have major impact because if the Supreme Court is to ultimately say gender identity is not the same as biological sex for constitutional statutory purposes, then states can engage in a lot of limitations on trans-related issues. If they say otherwise, then you're never going to get an amendment through to change that. So that means trans people have the same protection as women. That's interesting. Okay. What, what, and that, if, to work its way through the system, we're going to have to go through, it's going to be years. This is yeah, all, all you know, lowest yeah. level, of course. And there's a bunch of cases like this coming up in one capacity or another.